Shalom, my name is Shani. Um, today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about how I came to understand myself uh, and uh, learn my identity and understand who God is um, and that, that journey for me. Um, I'm not Jewish, uh, but I do identify very strongly with the Jewish, um, with the struggles of life, uh, and uh, <clears throat> and now that I am where I am, I can look back and uh, and uh, also feel that I have a very similar um, journey as the Jewish people do. Um, I've always had a struggle. Um, I was born into struggle. Um, I uh, right from 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 birth, right before even I was born, there was a struggle between my parents, and uh, it was almost as if their their marriage was was arranged. Um, and my dad later did confess to me that um, uh, that he felt obligated to marry my mother, my mother, and out of my mother and and this hatred he had for her. Um, three more were born uh, in the likeness of her. So you can just imagine the type of environment I grew, in, grew, up, grew up in. Um, <clears throat> for some reason, my dad was, um, was a very negative man. Um, and uh, um, he was controlling the house. Uh, he was very oppressive. Um, we all didn't have much of a voice. Um, we, we pretty much... Uh, we're, we're extremely scared of, of, of him. He was very overly critical. He could find fault in, in everything you did. Um, uh, he, on a daily basis, told me I was a parasite and I would never amount to anything. And it's hard to imagine that this is your parent. Um, but uh, this is how it was for me. Um, I grew up in a in a very challenging environment. Um, my dad, for some reason, felt that uh, because he grew up not understanding what love is, and and uh, and he grew up in a very uh, stringent, uh, strict environment where that was what was known to him to how to to be. Um, he was raised in an orphanage. Um, <clears throat> So uh, I can forgive, you know, my past, and I understand that the, my past made me who I am today. Um, this darkness that I experienced and this uh, uh, oppression, it stole away my identity. I had no idea who I was because my whole life I, told, I was told I was nothing and I would never amount to anything. Um, so um, at some point, uh, my, my mom... Um, she she was a very loving mother, but um, she uh, um, found some independence in a job eventually. And once that happened, she turned to alcohol and she sort of ad abandoned the family. Um, and I'm the oldest of the two younger sisters, so um, I was sort of in charge of the family after that. And then, you know... Um, um, yeah, it making things even more difficult. Um, so uh, eventually, when I became a teenager, I completely rebelled too and um, um, tried to find my way out in an environment when I was only a teenager. Um, and uh, I really did want to do well, but I just didn't have the resources to do it. Um, so... By the time I was 25, I had completely um, just, I, I was exhausted from life and from fighting myself and, and this confusion in myself of, of uh, not being able to function, not being able to get ahead and, and, and believing that I was not able to, to get ahead. Um, so... <clears throat> um, depression took over my life um and um so uh i fell really hard at, at a certain point when i was 25 and um 
uh, I was so completely, utterly depressed that um, I wasn't sleeping, I wasn't eating. Um, I, uh, my body had just given up. Um, uh, I, I remember the day that I thought I was actually going to die, not because of me doing anything, even though I had thought about it. Um, I was still wondering if there was something more. Um, I, I wanted to believe in something good. Um, and uh, I just didn't know how, on, how I, I, I didn't want to just, just uh, I, I, I wanted to feel it. I had to know it. I just had to, had to know it. And I, um, I didn't know how you could know God. Um, so um, I uh, remember lying on, um, on a really old couch in this apartment I was trying to put together. Um, and uh, anyways, uh, I thought I was going to die on the couch. Um, but um, I must have alerted some people from my apartment building um, because of unusual behavior that I had. And um, eventually my mom was contacted, who I hadn't seen in a long time. And um, she brought me to the hospital in tears. And I was telling her not to bother doing that. But... I had lost my fight by that time. Anyways, um, of course, I was diagnosed with mental illness, and um, and then that just steamrolled all sorts of other problems because now I, my dad was right. I am dysfunctional. I am uh, fault uh, faulted, and and uh, <clears throat> I had to fight that in myself my whole entire life, everything, and, and find the truth about who I am. And um, how I did that was I picked up a Bible, and uh, actually that was given to me when I was in the hospital by another patient, and um, that began my journey. Um, and thankfully to say, um, that's how I found my identity. Um, my uh, finding my identity, I feel, is very similar to the Jews and how they found their identity um, when they were in oppression uh, in Egypt. I can imagine them not knowing who they were and who God wanted them to be, um, and uh, and God always telling them to believe and and that He had a place for them. And uh, this is exactly how I feel God has been talking to me, um, that uh, all through this uh, process of darkness and oppression, um, that, uh, and then even getting out of that oppression and that situation, that horrible abuse, um, but uh, to get put into basically a desert and um, <clears throat> looking for food and water and nourishment and warmth and, and um, having to believe all this time that uh, it's there. Just, just hold on and just believe that um, that place is there. And um, <clears throat> God has given me my identity. I know who I am. Um, and I'm very comfortable with who I am. I have the confidence that, that, and I'm growing more and more into a more confident person as I understand more of, of who I am um, every day. It's just an, a non, an, it, it's a journey that's not ever going to end, and I, I don't ever want it to. I love what I learn about God, and um, <clears throat> And the more I learn about him, the more I learn about myself and the truths that um, God has for me because I am a piece of God, just as we all are a piece of God. And um, anyways, uh, I just thought I would share all that with you. Um, that's been my journey. That's how I got here. Um, and, and that's how I relate to the Jewish people. And um, thank you. Shalom.